Hey, it's me here, um, Bob. I haven't done a video in, um, fucking ages. I don't know why, um, there's a lot of reasons why, but, like, I, I'm not going to go into it now. I'm just going to talk about some things I want to talk about, wrestling related and stuff. Um, I'm a little bit hacked off. Well, quite a bit hacked off that I didn't get to see Man Up or have yet to see it yet because this is a pay-per-view I've been waiting for like, for like quite a while and I don't know, it just, sometimes it just sucks it especially sucks when you don't have the access to like order a pay-per-view like I do I mean like in England if you have like Sky satellite television you can order WWE pay-per-views and you get TNA pay-per-views for free I believe on Bravo, but like, I know they show like Ring of Honor on the wrestling channel, but like my mate that had the wrestling channel has like moved, moved out somewhere, so I can't like get access to that, plus it's like way out of date as well, so I don't think they show pay-per-views, but yeah, I haven't found Man Up online anywhere, so I think I might just have to do the honourable thing and buy the DVD when it comes out. Um, yeah, obviously it's had a lot of hype, and I think, I get the feeling it is going to be justified by the time I watch it, um, and I'm looking forward to watching it, but yeah, I think, in the meantime, I'm just going like, to have to order some DVDs and stuff, because I can't, oh, I've had enough of like, just watching Ring of Honor in bits, you know? Like basically, I've just like downloaded like the odd bits of matches from Death Before Dishonor 5, Night 1. And they're all like amazing. Like, I'm just going to have to do the honourable thing and get some DVDs. You know? Don't make me any less of a fan for not like buying them yet, I don't reckon. That's just... Oh, I don't know. I don't know, people get touchy on it, don't they? But fuck it, I know what I like and enjoy. Um, yeah, another thing we're going to talk about is a uh, TNA turning point. Basically, this was a card I didn't really have much interest in at all. Um, the matches, most of the matches look like they could have been on impact, and all I've seen of this is the first match, the tables match. Um, some of it was quite enjoyable. Um, but it wasn't anything spectacular or special, I don't think. And I thought the end, the ending really pissed me off, like the ref bump stuff. But like at the same time, I wouldn't expect like Motor City Machine Guns to like go over the Dudleys like two pay per views in a row. So it's like kind of what you may expect, but it just seems like a bit of a bullshit ending to me. But yeah, I don't know, the thing that really interested me about this pay-per-view, which I have actually seen, and I'm going to provide a link to, um, over there, yeah, that's it, <laughs> couldn't tell left from right then, um, yeah, Samoa Joe's little run, I feel like, why Scott Hall didn't show up, God, it was like just saying what every thing like that most of the people on YouTube have been thinking and like a lot of people in the internet wrestling community have been thinking and a lot of what's been rumoured as the feelings to like certain wrestlers in the TNA locker room like as in like uh, two types of wrestlers in TNA basically the old guys that just get along and get paid shitloads and like the young guys that like bust their asses and just do it full on. Now I don't know if this shoot promo was scripted or what or like a work shoot like in the way that Brian Pillman's was but obviously wasn't as extreme um, but this really got me going and like got me thinking like there might be a lot of truth in what Samoa Joe was saying because apparently he just got told to like sh like sing on Scott Hall and that and um, put over younger talent and he did that but apparently he apologised for doing so and just I suppose just for like not having any conflict backstage and that but 
fucking hell. I, I thought it was really quite something. I really enjoyed it and kind of marked out slightly to it. I loved it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I said I, how Scott Hall no showing was ridiculous. He took pop shots at Kevin Nash. And, oh, it was just so funny about it. It, was, it had that feeling of, like, fucking spontaneity. And I really loved it. Like, and that's the only part of that pay-per-view I've watched, and that's all I need to watch, because I don't think anything on the card's going to top that. But if you have seen the pay-per-view and recommend any matches to me, let me know, and I'll scope them out. Um, yeah. So, oh, that... I uh, really loved Samoa Joe's shoot, that was awesome. But yeah, that's all I kind of want to say. Um, WWE... Still trundling along the same, but it's getting a bit more interesting. Armageddon's looking quite interesting. That's like this week, isn't it, I think. Um, yeah. yeah I might have a look at Raw in a minute. Don't know. I'm glad Chris Jericho's back, obviously. I've just watched um, WrestleMania 19, Chris Jericho against Shawn Michaels, and that was a really fine match. They like, had a lot of storytelling, and yeah, it was just brilliant, basically. And yeah, just liked it a lot. <laughs> right, okay then, this is just a quick vid. Um, hopefully I'll be making more vids soon, if I can be bothered. But, what the fuck, what the fuck, doesn't matter. Alright, see you later, bye.